When I see someone use cancer or mental health as a way to profit, I think that person should face criticism, and I'm not here to cancel anybody, but what I think he's done is pretty disgusting. It, I'm just, I'm seeing right through it. I'm not the only one who doesn't buy it, Blake. Look at the comments under that video. Don't be fake just for clout, bro. Subscribers appreciate realness over anything. Proof is in the screenshots and I don't see them. I don't know, this video looks fabricated, dude. I'm calling BS. Can I get my donation back? You cheated me. Blake, you better freaking pay your subscribers if you are offering them money for to do certain things and giveaways and stuff. Blake, I'm a little pissed at you right now. After getting an email last night from Chuck, Chuck wrote me because it's been about three, almost four weeks since Blake did a giveaway. Promised one of his subscribers $100 for doing certain things. Blake, there's nothing worse than people who say that they're gonna make a payment to someone and not pay them. That person is literally expecting that $100. He still has a lot to learn. And there's a saying that I want you guys to know. It is slow growth builds character, fast growth builds ego. In this video, we're gonna talk about more finance. What's going on currently with him, his history of not being honest, being a scammer, and my involvement with him over the last year, and how I tried to warn him a year ago about this behavior. What can we learn about this situation to actually become better people? Because I think that's what it's all about, us learning something from these type of situations. Let's get into it. Shout out to Nugs and uh, UT, I think I pronounced his name right, but they recently dropped videos chronicling more finance behavior. And I'm just going to say right now that more finance has been a scammer for a very, very long time. The first couple of clips that I showed you from Tana Markley and Mushimu were a year ago. So many people did know about his behavior, but it's great that even more people are realizing that he is a scammer. The key word that I want you guys to think about in this video is integrity because more finance does not have any. You can check out Nugs' video and UT's video chronicling another challenge, another charity that more finance is shady, scamming, pretending that he accomplished something instead of actually being honest. There's a battle and more finance is bring between honesty and manipulation and clearly manipulation is working. But let's start from the beginning as far as I know. Mall Finance had a regular gig tube channel like the rest of us. I remember when he had less than 3,000 subscribers. And one of the things he did, and the positive thing is, he kept posting. He posted daily, he went out there, worked really hard. And then it got to one point where he discovered a hack. He discovered if he talks about mental health, If he copies Nug's material and his concepts, if he talks about charities, he talks about challenges, he will grow his channel. But even then, we noticed that he was not being honest, that he was lying about certain giveaways. You have to at least be a man of your word and pay people, you know? I got Blake Moore from Moore Finance has a $100 giveaway on Tuesday, October 26th. Anyone who commented on his posts, for the week which I did on each video that week, I won $100. You can check out his video where he announced the winner. I left a comment telling him I would donate $50 of the winnings to Breast Cancer Charity Fund, which he was also doing a fundraiser for. I didn't hear anything after sending a couple emails till Tuesday, November 2nd, when he emailed me and said he was busy. Blake. Moore has been deactivated from DoorDash multiple times. And then the email comes in. And it says that I have been deactivated for fraud. You can probably guess from the title of this video, yes, I was suspended from DoorDash once again. A lot of you guys know this. I work for DoorDash. I love DoorDash up until now, where I want to go on and pretty much just rant about how DoorDash has really screwed me over these past few weeks and let you guys know how I got suspended. And as you guys know, I have been deactivated from DoorDash and so I'm pretty much your Uber Eats guy now. Guys, I've been deactivated from both Uber Eats and Grubhub. Jesus Christ! I don't see how someone can be deactivated multiple times, but clearly even DoorDash realizes that he is a fraud. I had an issue with him, and I'm not gonna talk about the details of that because I'm a man of my word. I told him that I will not discuss it, but I gave him a warning. I did remember emailing him trying to tell him, you need to stop what you're doing in terms of not being honest. You need to do better. You're a hardworking young man. You have a lot of potential. 
don't mess it up. You have to have some level of integrity. You can't continue to lie and manipulate people for views and subs. It's going to bite you in the ass in the long run. And it looks like that has not stopped. I stopped watching, but he continues to lie, continues to manipulate, and now more and more people realize it. Now you check out his comment section in his last video, you realize that people are just tired of the nonsense. They realize he is full of shit. So now he has a rep. He is a rep of being a scammer, a YouTube scammer, which is tons of them on YouTube, of someone that uses clipbait, that uses giveaways, challenges to gain subscribers and not follow through. What he say and what he does are completely different things. I knew there was something wrong with him. Obviously not just the issues with the giveaways, but just him talking about gig work in general. And I received criticism from content creators saying that I was bullying him or jealous, all that type of thing. A creator by the name of Blake Moore, whose channel is More Finance, Hannibal and Pedro are so bothered by what this guy does. And I'm sorry, but you can't tell me otherwise because I've seen the comments, um, I've seen the community posts, and I've, I've heard in your lives the backhanded comments, um, the I'm not even gonna say his name. And if you don't like what Blake is doing, then why are you watching? And I realized that time will tell. Time will bring to light some of the things that he was doing, the shady stuff that he was doing, the truth will come to light. Eventually, people will know that Moore is not who he says he is, that he is going to basically tell on himself. And I didn't necessarily have to make a video about him or continue with the criticism because I know eventually people are going to figure out that he is full of shit. Moore Finance acts selfishly to gain clout, to gain money with his YouTube channel. And unfortunately, some YouTubers are scammers. And you should really go through their content. Before you believe what I say, go through my content, question everything. Just because someone makes a video about something doesn't necessarily make it true. What can we learn from this situation? Integrity matters in all facets of life, but especially if you are a self-employed, if you are an independent contractor, your word is your bond because we don't have a boss breathing down our neck. Our reputation is everything. So if you're not honest, eventually you will get caught. You're not going to be able to lie forever because there are a lot of charlatans out there. There are a lot of people who are looking to take advantage. They'll use mental health. They'll use giveaways. They'll find ways to manipulate you to click subscribe, to watch their videos because in our niche, gig economy, this type of niche pays very well on YouTube. So his incentive to continue to manipulate his audience to get paid was strong because the money is there. The problem is eventually everyone will find out your nonsense. And now he has more problems than he had to if he would just told the truth. If you would just said, hey, I didn't make that challenge. I'm gonna go shave my head. That would do pretty well for his channel. That would show that he's actually a man of honor, a man of integrity. But unfortunately, that's not who he is right now. So for the future of Moore, I hope this humbles him. He seems like a person that needs to be humbled. He needs to get that kick in the pants of, hey, stop doing this. Be a better person. You have a large following. You don't need to lie and manipulate to make money. But you have to be a real piece of crap to use charity, to use mental health issues as a way to make money. You have to be a real piece of crap and hopefully he can learn from this because it's pretty pathetic. What do you guys think about this situation? Put in the comments below. Thank you for taking time to watch this video and I see you guys in the next video.